At the battalion aid station, medical attendants wearing the proper type of protective garments will help the soldiers remove their contaminated uniforms. Extreme precaution is necessary, since this type of gas can be transmitted by contact. Mustard gas easily seeps through ordinary clothing, and wherever it has penetrated, the clothing should be removed as quickly as possible. The protective ointment thoroughly applied to all affected parts and then removed is the first step in the treatment. Soap and water applied with a little elbow grease immediately follows. Then the man dries himself. Sodium bicarbonate in a 2% solution should be used as an eye wash and a throat rinse. This remedy will counteract the effect of any of the gas that may have been absorbed by the sensitive tissues in the eyes or throat. Once he has run through the gamut of these treatments, the soldier is tagged. That is, his name, serial number, and organization are noted, as well as the type and extent of the injuries and the treatment given. Then he is evacuated for further examination and treatment if necessary. If he has breathed the mustard vapor, he should be treated as a lung irritant case and moved by litter. All casualties that leave the station are checked out by name, serial number, organization, and future disposition. All contaminated clothing is segregated until it has been properly decontaminated. All contaminated cloths and towels used in any part of the treatment must be burned or buried. The fumes from any such fire should be avoided. Lewisite, a vesicant or blistering gas with an odor like geraniums, affects men similarly to mustard gas, and the treatment is much the same, except that a special solution is used instead of the protective ointment. After the shell bursts, drops of the liquid lewisite remain on the surrounding foliage, waiting for victims. The effects of lewisite are evident much more quickly than mustard gas, and are accompanied by a certain amount of immediate pain and discomfort. In these cases, first aid must be resorted to as soon as physically possible. The clothing which the lewisite has touched is promptly removed. The drops of lewisite are wiped off. A neutralizing solution of hydrogen peroxide is then applied to the skin as a cleansing agent. The remainder of the treatment is the same as in the case of mustard gas. The affected area is scrubbed thoroughly with soap and water then dried. In treating all vesicant or blister gas casualties, medical attendants wear protective garments, such as you see here. The casualty is tagged. Then he is checked out and evacuated to the rear. 